Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be talking about the long-awaited Raspberry Pi $35 Linux computer. And so I say long-awaited because it took me many, many months to get this, and so it's finally arrived from the UK, and I'm going to talk about uh, what we get with this $35 Linux computer. Right, so in terms of video output, it uh, has an HDMI slot here, and this is what I connect to either a TV or a HDMI screen. And then for internet connectivity, I have an Ethernet port here. And for keyboard and mouse, I have two USB ports here. And so this is the audio uh, jack for both audio out and audio in, microphone and headphone jack. And then this is a standard uh, RCA composite video output to a TV if your display doesn't have uh, HDMI, right? And then we have a data connection here for a data cable or data ribbon and it can control things like microcontrollers or an Arduino board and stuff like that. And then for the storage medium is a SD card slot here and essentially right now I have the uh, 32 gig slot in here and this is where the operating system resides as well as the rest of the storage for the operating system sits on this memory card here and then to power the whole thing it takes a standard uh, micro USB charger same type of charger for your cell phone uh, can power this and as well as uh, basically a USB port is enough power to power this thing this 5 volts of uh, USB power and uh, there's no on and off switch you basically as soon as you plug in the power it uh, turns on and that's how you turn on and turn off the little Linux computer here so the uh, processor is a uh, Broadcom uh, system on a chip SOC chip and it's a 700 megahertz and there's 256 gigs uh, I'm sorry 256 megabytes of RAM and uh, the GPU is a pretty powerful GPU and it can display HD resolution, uh, 1080p video, uh, 40 megabits um, of uh, H.264 video. And that's pretty, pretty big because uh, that's essentially about the same amount of megabits that you would find on a Blu-ray disc. And um, essentially it has the same amount of power uh, in terms of 3D graphics as an Xbox, uh, original first Xbox uh, 3D graphics has. So uh, it's pretty powerful being that it's about the size of a credit card. And this is uh, $35. And this is the, they call the Model B. And I believe uh, it's the Model B because it has the uh, HDMI port. Um, and there's a Model A that was cheaper, is $25. Um, but I didn't see that or wasn't available for me to purchase. But essentially this is the $35 Linux computer. And I downloaded the um, Linux distro from their website. They have a specially formulated Linux distro. And I installed it onto the card here. It's a very simple process. Uh, you do need a PC to do it. Uh, they have a um, program called WinDisk Imager. And you take the ISO image of the uh, Linux Insulation and it'll install onto the memory card here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in now and what I'll be using to plug this in with is this uh, External battery power now. This is not something that you need necessarily you could just use a regular battery or a regular wall charger for your cell phone But uh, I'm just using this as sort of an in uninterruptible power supply So it's got a micro USB port here and this is the uh, micro USB that you would plug in to charge it and this is a, a USB out, power out that you would plug in your um, micro USB charger to charge your phone, cell phone typically. So this is what originally what this device is for. It's just an external battery, 32 milli, uh, 3200 milliamps and uh, it was like 20 bucks on Amazon. I'm using it as sort of a uh, uninterruptible power supply so that I can plug this into this and then plug the wall charger into this so it keeps this charge and I like the uh, battery indicator that it has here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in now we're gonna boot it up and see how this works
Right, so here I've got my HDMI cable plugged into my monitor. So I'll plug that in first. Then I'm going to plug in the mouse and keyboard. And I'll worry about the Ethernet connectivity later. Alright, so now I'm about to plug in the power. And we got some blinking lights there. And on the screen is powering on the Linux um, operating system and it's loading up everything. And I want to try to keep this in real time to show you how long it takes to boot up. Now everything that comes with the board here is pretty much it. You can't upgrade anything. You can't install new or more RAM 256, that's all it comes with. You can't uh, upgrade the CPU. There, there. I read somewhere that it might be possible for you to um, overclock the CPU, but I don't know how to do that, and maybe I can learn how to do that later on, but uh, essentially everything here that what you see is what you get. Right, so the uh, operating system has loaded up here, and that was pretty quick. Didn't take a whole lot of time at all. And uh, the keyboard and mouse seems to be working okay. And so essentially this is it right here. They have a lot of um, programming language type programs. Uh, essentially this was created to help students learn how to write programs. And so uh, there's a lot of programs here that helps you do that. And this is a, a very inexpensive way for students to learn computer science and computer programming and so this is pretty much uh, cheaper than a textbook um, and it's for people to can carry around or uh, use at home people that don't have uh, computers or anything like that and so all in all it's pretty good pretty good looking system here I'm uh, I'm anxious to try out other Linux distros and uh, hopefully I can show you some more videos on uh, the performance of this but essentially I just wanted to do a brief introduction on this type of device and uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, please feel free to uh, list them below and subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all that jazz. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.